Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am the Fire Escape Griller, and today we're gonna grill up one of my favorite things in the world to grill, and that's chicken thighs. They got the skin on, the bone in, a nice fat content so they stay nice and moist. You can almost not even overcook these. And we're gonna finish these off today with a spicy honey glaze that is out of this world. So stick around, because we're gonna do all this right here on the Fire Escape. We're gonna start this recipe off by making a basic rub. We've got one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one half teaspoon of cumin, one half teaspoon of paprika, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a little bit of sea salt, and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper to taste. And then mix those together and you've got yourself a nice and spicy rub. And here we have our chicken thighs, and I love chicken thighs. These are bone in and skin on. And you see some of this extra skin here? What you wanna do is take a pair of kitchen scissors, and just remove some of that extra skin and any little fat from these thighs. Just trim them up real nice. Then once the chicken thighs are trimmed up nice and neat, it's time to add the rub. I just sprinkle it on with my fingers. And what I like to do is I like to get my hands in there and actually rub this stuff in. You can wear gloves if you want to. And now these chicken thighs are ready for the grill. Out here on the fire escape, I've preheated the Weber Q about 10, 12 minutes like always. We're gonna start by grilling our thighs skin side up, directly over the flames on medium heat. See if we can crisp up that skin. And of course, you have to close the lid. After those two minutes go by, we're gonna flip these over skin side down. Close the lid for two more minutes. Then after those two minutes go by, the direct grill is done. So what I'm gonna do is take the chicken thighs off, put them skin side up on my roasting rack and roasting shield. And then close the lid and grill these for about 20 to 25 minutes until the internal temperature it's 165 degrees. While the chicken thighs are cooking, we're gonna make our glaze, and that starts with three tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and then a few dashes of your favorite hot sauce. I'm using Susie's hot sauce, this is Caribbean hot sauce. I'll leave a link down below where you can order this online. Susie's is very hot and very tasty. And just mix these together, give it a little taste, and man, that Susie's is good. Back out here to the fire escape. As you can see, it is a lovely day here in Brooklyn. These have been on now for about 20 minutes, and they're ready for the glaze. We're gonna paint this on just like we would any barbecue sauce. I'll just fast forward through this. You know how to paint on some glaze. Of course, you have to do both sides. And we're ending with the skin side up here. And once that glaze is on, we're gonna close the lid, give this about five more minutes, and then it's time to pull them in. After 25 minutes on the roasting rack, these chicken thighs are looking mighty tasty. Just gonna quickly temp these to see if they're done. I'm aiming for somewhere in between 165 and 170 Fahrenheit. And 
And these are looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them inside. And I can't wait to taste these. They smell fantastic. And here is our final dish. Spicy honey glazed chicken thighs grilled on a fire escape in Brooklyn, New York. And now for the best part, I get to try the chicken, the fruits of our labor here. Mmm, that meat is perfect. What I really love about chicken thighs is they don't have the tendency to dry out like a chicken breast will. Mmm, and unlike the, the, the drumsticks, the drumsticks have that sort of sinewy, tendony type chewy stuff. I really don't care for that. I mean, I don't think anyone does. So the, the thighs really are my favorite cut to grill up besides maybe chicken wings. I really love chicken wings, so. But give this recipe a try. You know, that, that, that sauce, the glaze is really terrific. It's got a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Um, and you know, give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling.